Okay, obviously this level can't be graphically disturbing because it's a Mario game. Unless it was... whatever. Stay out. This is Bowser's personal destruction ball. Trademark. Factory. Any intruders will be crushed to death. You were warned. Well, I'm gonna scroll ahead to see you. Hmm, what is this? It's not a pipe at all. I just worried what he might mean. Remember those bouncing... Okay, it's not that bad. It's just these ones. Will another one reappear, please? Before it's too late. AKA, it's too late already. Whoa. Oh, jeez. And another one's not reappearing for some reason. But that made for a good hiding place. I just hope that none of the balls immediately land on top of me. I guess I should do that. Hmm, what should I do? Yeah. Can't be too careful. I I oversay that. They can bounce on note blocks. I hope that turned the balls off. Nah. But that'll probably do. And now the ball's gonna come this way, I bet. But, I question why they don't... Whoa! <laughs> okay, that one fell again. Okay. Starting to make a little more sense. I search for a halfway point. It's right there. Oh, I can climb these, I forgot. Whew, safe. But those saws are pretty fast. Yeah, what the heck. I'll go ahead and take it. Maybe that too. The green switch blocks, at least they still give you power-ups. I'm scrolling this over here. And the ball reappeared, but not from where you expected. It appeared from mid-air, and that chain was rather fast. And I failed that jump horribly. Don't you love managing to despawn enemies? Now, I hope that ball doesn't come back. Otherwise, it would probably have to be out of midair. Like the other one, which wouldn't have worked. I can do this. And that. And what about this? There's a ball right there. A piece which I can grab. Clever way to get this feather. Clever and safe. Hmm. Thought I despawned it, but I didn't. Whew. There's gonna be another ball. Not from a pipe, though, so I should be safe. This is worrisome, though. Okay. 
Maybe not. Oh, crud. I'm gonna have to wait all the way down here. You serious? Come on. Good. And now you throw bones. Stop getting angry. Eh, probably close, though. Let's think of a way. <coughs> what will make them come down here? That will probably work. I might just do it. Huh, that was weird. Could have easily died there. Probably one more smiley face. Seven's probably going to be assumed to be in Bowser's castle. It appears that Bowser will have no more balls. Ouch. Now he has to improvise. What will Bowser come up with in his castle? You are nearing it. Just up the hill is his lair. We still have some areas to go to, apparently. Like, water push way. It's gonna push, isn't it? Don't go too far down the water. If you do, you will die. Let's just say I made it this way so you can't swim under the level and cheat. Okay, we'll see. And even the chucks look different. I'll take your word and not swim too far. No promises on the Boomerang Brothers, though. And that one will go up. Swim up. Technically, that was a clever way to kill myself. Obviously, water levels are much easier with a fire flower than with a feather. So, we'll go ahead and take that as our ammunition. <sighs> okay. Let's just hope it doesn't get too spammy. Some people probably wouldn't like that. Whoa! That was rude. And I don't think I can go up that pipe. So... Let's just... Do, do this. Try to get down here. Maybe. Good. And I don't care what's in the very left, it's probably empty. I do care. Yeah, it's empty. <sighs> A boomerang brother... ...stuck like that? That was mean! <laughs> oh. I'm gonna take the game's word and not go too far down there. Probably made those pull-downs invisible. And you can't shoot the boomerangs with fireballs, apparently. Ah, that didn't work at all. That might have worked. Whoa, no! Good. 
so it's not that mean. As for mean, though, that was. But I'll, probably also why there was a mushroom there. I'm gonna assume it pu pushes me... Instantly killing me. I have a feeling it can only get easier from the halfway point. Once that blurp fish goes away. Good. I still don't trust that boomerang brother. For an obvious reason. I could probably use that mushroom though. Just as a spare. On the other hand, there are also risks to getting it, but not too many. Come on, let me get rid of you. Generally annoying. Okay, if that kills me instantly again, I'm making a save just in advance. It didn't, so I should be safe. Yeah. That's where it calls for... ...a few problems. Particularly since it's right at the end where it could get someone angry. That's the only problem with that level so far, along with the boomerang brother that blocks the way. Other than that, pretty good. I figured that'd be a rad level. Mind the gap. Now it looks kind of vanilla. <sighs> this gimmick. Okay. Crazy, but doable. This whole area is basically one big pit. Keep moving and hop on enemies, and you'll be just fine. And possibly scroll it this way! And jump the wrong way. Can't go without this when it's... when it's one big gap. It would just be crazy for me. Particularly because of that. Four, three... And yet another gimmick. That killed me, didn't it? Right at the halfway point. <laughs> it's as if you got to do it all in one recording. If it's one big pit, then I'll just have to assume that. Even with this pipe, it's not a safe stopping point. There is no safe stopping point. Still one big pit. For crying out loud. <laughs> okay, this is officially crazy. Good thing I have the cape, otherwise... This level would be a super pain, particularly that one jump. One big pit is definitely a crazy idea. Particularly with that note block. And the funny thing is, this level has a secret exit.
I honestly wouldn't know where just yet. So it appears to lead over somewhere. I see you. But first, secret. We've got an awkward secret exit here, apparently. It's right there. Okay. Whew! Seriously, that is tough. And that leads over to Rising Fortress. Doesn't sound promising. Sounds difficult. I see you. Is this an ASM? I kind of worry that it does use some ASM in it. But that was just, uh, bad planning on my part. Ditto. If I can get the halfway point first, though. What was that ceiling up there? Maybe I'm just paranoid again. Maybe I'm just too quick again. But I... I do know there was some sort of a ceiling somewhere. Above the... above the jumping chuck, or pouncing chuck. Way to go, me! <laughs> oh! I see you there. There's a camera or something. I hope being spotted doesn't mean certain death. Because I'm not going to the left. Okay. So it doesn't appear to do anything. It's just a... It's just a background layer like the... REC from Mushroom Kingdom Meltdown 2. On the other hand, there are diagonal bullet bills that come after you, which is probably where the I see you comes in. Ooh, and there's a punting chuck. Good thing I pressed the blue switch. Lag. And what if you didn't have the blue switch? Well, you probably have to rely on the diagonal bullet bills to jump. Wouldn't be too hard, but would be time consuming. And again, I've seen worse. There, now you can't see me. You could probably still hit me, though. Oh, now you can see me again. You didn't even see me, and apparently you hit me. Now I keep... jumping. Don't know why it's not directly at the center whenever... wherever the camera is. But it doesn't see me anymore. next time we take on the Rising Fortress.